Okay, I see this thing around your neck. Hey. Tell me, who are you and what is this? Hi, my name is Peter Sassaman, President of Haptic Solutions. And this device here is the Cilia. All right, hold, okay. hold on. Oh. I can barely hear you because it's okay. so loud in here. You want to go outside and talk? Yeah, let's go outside. Okay. All right, this is much quieter than it was in there. So we'll start yes. over. I saw you walking around and you have this thing on your chest. Right. And I'm curious what this is. So first off, tell us who you are and what is this we're looking at? Awesome. So my name is Peter Sassman, president of Hapsic Solutions. And this is the Cilia. It's a device for adding sense to your games, movies, and other experiences. So essentially we just have a cartridge full of these little scented oils and the device has variable speed fans that it can waft sense to you while you're in a game like uh, haptic. Hap <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like the haptics for VR. So yeah, you could be walking through VR. a forest and smell a forest or in a kitchen or yeah. something. Yeah, so one of the ones we have integrated with is Neos VR. So you can be, you know, walking around the beach and smell the ocean or, you know, go out on up here and you can smell popcorn and funnel cake and that kind of stuff. Well, that's really cool. So in kind of layman's terms, if you're not a programmer, how the heck do you interface this with your VR stuff? Do you put like triggers in your game that send a signal out to a, a, a board that you have there? Or what, how does that even work? Exactly, yeah. We have plugins for Unity and Unreal Engine that have trigger volumes. So you can place those into your virtual worlds. And as your character walks in, it triggers the scent. And you can even get closer to objects and the scent gets more intense. All right, I'm just moving it around it while you talk here, just kind of showing it off. So, um, so you can put in the volumes, they're like 3D volumes in the 3D space, and it can trigger it. So it's really easy to integrate this in with your stuff if Definitely. you're developing. You have in your hand something there, that's, that's the board inside it? Yeah, so this one here, this is the board that's inside. You can see it's ESP32 based, and we have an expansion header so we can do even more sense than just the basic A. Very um, cool. We're also working on other add-ons like this one here to go on that expansion header that could take like the little cap gun uh, paper strips and pull those through and set them off to do... Uh, Give it that burnt like sulfur smell. Yeah, exactly. Like fireworks. Very cool, man. Very cool. So where could somebody learn more about this if they wanted to play with it or, or get involved? Yeah, so we have a website, hapticsoul.com. It's kind of here on my shirt, but I also have it here on the card. Yep, hold that card up. Perfect. All right, so if yeah. you want to learn more, that's where you get the info. Let me just get another peek at that. That's interesting. So the also. scents come up out of those holes from these fans on the bottom that are pushing through the oils and the wicks. Very cool, man. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Yeah, here's kind of a peek inside under the magnetically attached faceplate. Very cool. Very cool. All right, man. Well, thanks for talking to me. Yeah, you're welcome. Very cool. The interview you just saw took place at Midwest Rep Rap Festival in Goshen, Indiana. Going on back there. Uh, be sure to check at our members area at make.co. There's actually a full tour of the event uploaded there. If it's not there yet, it'll be there soon. Uh, until next time, you know, see you then.